Ted Cruz is in a, a bit of a fight uh, with Mitch McConnell. They're having a beef. Uh, so it's because of the Export-Import Bank. Apparently, uh, Cruz feels uh, lied to. He's going to say that quite literally. Uh, and then all the other Republicans are going to strike back at Cruz. First, let's hear Cruz's side. Today is a sad day for this institution. The Senate operates based on trust. Whether we are Democrats or Republicans, these hundred senators have to be able to trust that when a senator says something, he or she will do it, even if we disagree on substance, that we don't lie to each other. A number of weeks ago, when this Senate was considering trade promotion authority, a group of senators gathered on this floor and blocked TPA for many minutes because they were pressing for the Export-Import Bank. They huddled on this floor and negotiated a deal where I stood up and I asked the majority leader very directly what was the deal that was just cut on TPA and was there a deal for the Export-Import Bank? It was a direct question. I asked the majority leader in front of all of the Republican senators. The majority leader was visibly angry with me that I would ask such a question. And the majority leader looked at me and said, there is no deal, there is no deal, there is no deal. The majority leader looked me in the eye and looked 54 Republicans in the eye. I cannot believe he would tell a flat out lie. And I voted based on those assurances that he made to each and every one of us. What we just saw today was an absolute demonstration that not only what he told every Republican senator, but what he told the press over and over and over again was a simple lie. We now know that when the majority leader looks us in the eyes and makes an explicit commitment, that he is willing to say things that he knows are false. That has consequences for how this body operates. If you or I cannot trust what the majority leader tells us, that will have consequences on other legislation as well, on how this institution operates. Damn, we got drums on the Republican side. So uh, I get he looks so solemn the whole time. He's, he's so sad. It's Blues Cruise. But he lied to me. Okay, now if there's a person I dislike more than Mitch McConnell, uh, in America, it's Ted Cruz. And guess what? Ted Cruz is right. He's right on two counts. First, did McConnell promise to him that there would be no deal and then there was a deal? <laughs> yeah, that's almost indisputable. Everybody uh, can see that with their own eyes. Uh, to uh, get the Export-Import Bank through. Now, uh, if you don't know what that's about, well, that's the second point that Ted Cruz is right about. The Export-Import Bank is a giant uh, gift to certain political donors who have given politicians money and it gives them an unfair advantage. It's crony capitalism defined. And this is a rare situation where I gave the Republicans credit before the election. I said they're more right than the Democrats here. The Democrats try to make this a political issue and say, oh my God, crazy Republicans. <laughs> they're worried about crony capitalism. No, no, no. That's the one thing they're not crazy about. That's absolutely true. For the few Principled Republicans who fought the Export-Import Bank, they're entirely right. The Democrats are entirely wrong. And you, I, I don't agree with anything, almost anything Ted Cruz says. I got no love for the guy, got quite a bit of the opposite for the guy. But he's right about this one. And what did the establishment Republicans do as soon as the election was over? Like, <laughs> crony capitalism, that's what the whole party's based on. <laughs> Why didn't somebody send Cruz the memo? Now, of course, since he points that out, they are furious. So here's Lamar Alexander speaking for the establishment. He's a Republican senator from Tennessee. If we render ourselves lawless, how can we expect our fellow Americans to respect and follow the rule of law? He will create a precedent that destroys the orderly consideration of amendments. There will be unlimited amendments. There will be chaos. Now, the, the reason he says that is because Ted Cruz is trying to get a rule change so that he can propose an amendment on this issue, Export Import Bank. Now, the reason he has to do that is because McConnell did the same thing the Democrats used to do, which is stuff these bills full of amendments uh, so that when 
they go to debate them, you can't propose any new amendments. Now, it's the same thing that Mitch McConnell pretended to be outraged about when the Democrats said, how can they do this to the revered institution of the Senate, right? Now that he's in charge, he's doing the same exact thing. When you ask him about it, the turtle goes back in his shell. Okay, nowhere to, nowhere to be found. Now, in fact, he sends out his attack dogs to say, there'll be chaos if we don't do this. Now, speaking of which, we go to Orrin Hatch, as establishment uh, as it gets, longtime Republican senator from Utah. He says, we're not here on some frolic or to pursue personal ambitions. We serve the people, not our own egos. Damn. Okay. Uh, in other words, he's saying to Cruz, Shame. 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 Okay. Uh, more of that from Orrin Hatch. Uh, he says, we must ensure the pernicious trend of turning the Senate floor into a forum for advancing personal ambitions, for promoting political campaigns, or for enhancing fundraising activities comes to a stop. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the whole point of the Senate floor. That's what you guys do every single day. Democrats do it too, right? <laughs> you, you shouldn't use the Senate floor for political ambitions. You guys are all politicians. I mean, I got bad news for you, Orrin Hatch. Okay? So, the whole, what a joke. Like, Ted Cruz, the first guy to play politics in the Senate. Again, I can't stand Ted Cruz. But you got to be fair and call it as it is. In this case, Cruz is right. The establishment Republicans are wrong. And one more from Hatch because it amuses me. He says, squabbling and sanctimony may be tolerated on the campaign trail, but not in here. <laughs> Dude, the Senate is made of squabbling and sanctimony. I mean, look, nobody's more sanctimonious than Ted Cruz, I'll grant you that. But you're not far behind Orrin Hatch. So, uh, Huffington Post points out that uh, Cruz is kind of right about this. Cruz noted that it's unusual for a senator to try to overturn Senate procedure, uh, except uh, citing the 14 times that McConnell did so as well. So he's saying, hey, look, you're saying uh, I'm overturning procedure here and you're going to have chaos. McConnell, when he was in the minority, tried to do that 14 times. So that's the third thing that Ted Cruz is right about that Mitch McConnell is wrong about. So, But now we're going to add to the drama. So when Cruz was asked about it after all this brouhaha on Sunday, he referred to Mitch McConnell as the so-called Republican leader. Jerome's. And then uh, he referred to the McConnell-Reed leadership team, referring to Harry Reed, uh, who is of course the leader of the Democrats. Damn. Ooh, that guy. I cut deep. Okay. Uh, and Talking Boys of Bemo and The Hill point out, well, Hatch was right about one thing. Uh, Cruz's presidential campaign also sent out fundraising emails throughout the fight. <laughs> to which I say, of course, of course he did. So I'm not saying that Ted Cruz wasn't grandstanding or that he wasn't using it for his political campaign. Of course he was. But at the same time, on the policy issue of the Export-Import Bank, he is right. It is crony capitalism. Mitch McConnell did lie about it, and they did pass it because the Republican establishment loves crony capitalism. Okay, now come back out and talk about how that money in politics is deeply corrupting. I'm looking forward to that next, Ted. You're going to do that? Oh, no, right. You're also taking an enormous amount of money and putting it in your pocket, in your campaign's pocket, to run your presidential ambitions, so you're not going to speak about that, are you? Okay, that's what I thought.